this address so already we can assign the first IP address to this port so remaining one IP is there so two can be assigned to this port serial 0 slash 0 so 150 dot 150 dot 100 dot 2 subnet mask is 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 250 to no shutdown to enable this interface okay in this port we can assign the bandwidth as 300 kilobytes and delay as 6000 milliseconds so the syntax for assigning bandwidth is bandwidth base 300 next delay 6000 okay do write to save this configuration next we can go to the serial 0 slash 1 and assign the IP address and bandwidth and delay so in this network we can use the netads 192.200.50.0 slash 30 so here also we can use 4 IP address in that 4 IP address we can use only 2 IP address remaining 2 IP addresses is used for netid and direct podcast so the first host is 1 and last host is 2 so the 1 can be assigned to this port so we can go to that particular interface interface serial 0 slash 1 IP space address so the net ID is 192.200.50 so 192.200.50.1 and subnet mask is 255.255.255.252 no shutdown to enable this interface ok so in this port we can assign the bandwidth as 500 kilobytes and delay as 3000 milliseconds so the syntax for assigning bandwidth is bandwidth space 5000 and delay sorry the bandwidth is 500 kilobytes so we can remove this bandwidth so using no space bandwidth 5000 now the bandwidth can be removed again we can assign the bandwidth to this interface bandwidth space 500 next delay 3000 yeah, enter do write to save this configurations exit ok next we can go to the R4 router and we can go to that particular interface and assign the IP address so we can go to the R4 router interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP space address so 192.200.50 so already one can be assigned to this port so now two can be assigned to this serial 0 slash 0 of R4 router so to subnet mask is 255.255.255.252 no shutdown to enable this interface ok so in this port we can assign the bandwidth and delay so the bandwidth is 600 kilobytes and delay is 5000 milliseconds do right ok so now we can assign the IP address and bandwidth and delay to the all the interface now we can configure the EHRP routing protocol to all the routers so first of all we can go to the R1 router so in global mode router space EHRP here we can give the autonomous system number so the autonomous system number range is 1 to 65535 in that range we can give any number so if I am giving 100 means all the routers in this topology should be given 100 then only it can be communicating so other way we can use different autonomous system number means we can use redistribution so now we can use same autonomous system number to all the router so here I will I can give 100 next network so the direct connected network for R1 is 182.100.200.0 let's we can given 182 sorry 182.100.200.0 no auto summary exit do right to save this configurations ok now we can go to the R2 router so in R2 router we can go to the global mode in global mode we can given router space EHRP 100 because autonomous system number is same for all the router so in R1 router we can given 100 so here also we can given 100 next direct connected network is network 182 dot 
100.200.0 next network 150.150.100.0 next we can given no auto summary do write to save this configurations okay next we can go to the r3 router and r3 router we can given the direct connector network to configure the EHRP routing protocol so router space so autonomous system is 100 so the direct connector network is 150.150.100.0 network So next direct connector network for R3 is 192.200.50.0 So 192.200.50.0 No auto summary exit do write to save these configurations into NV RAM Ok now we can configure the EHRP routing protocol into R4 router So in R4 router we can go to the global mode so the syntax for Configuring EHRP routing protocol is router space EHRP autonomous system number is 100. Next, direct connector network is 192. Sorry, the direct connector network for R4 is 192. 192.200.50.0. No auto summary to save this configurations. Okay. Now we can configure the IP address, bandwidth, delay and EHRP routing protocols to all the routers. So now we can go to the R1 router. In the privilege mode we can given show IP route means it will display the, it will learn the, because in R1 router direct connector network is 182. So R1 router cannot know, does not know this network 150.150.100.0 and 192.200.50.0 So using EHRP routing protocol they can learn this network and this network So they can use, they can calculate the metric value in background process Now I can show you how to calculate the metric value in the EHRP routing protocol Then afterwards we can match it the we can match it the manual answer and automatic answer so first of all we can go to the notepad so in the notepad router 1 so the router 1 direct connector network is 182.100.200.0 so here we can write so direct connector network so we can write written as dc so direct connector network is 182.100.200.0 slash 30 so this is a direct connector network so r1 router can know this network so here we can use the hrp routing protocol here we can calculate the metric value so this is a direct connector network so there is no need for there is no need for calculate the advertised distance only we can calculate the feasible distance so we can take in the bandwidth and delay so r1 router can be connected to this network through this port serial 0 slash 0 so in this port we can assign the bandwidth and delay bandwidth is 100 k kilobytes and delay is 1000 milliseconds so